as you know I have the dark frame that I bought at Bacont that I'm planning to put this wallpaper in as a momentum of the original wallpaper that we took down so we have this white board as a backing and I'm just trying to select out of all the wallpaper that I've managed to save and take down the best bits to cut join and glue on as you can see there is a significance in the colour of the old wallpaper and the new curtains maybe it was originally that bright so I shall patch up the best bits and get them PVA'd onto the plastic board. So as you may be able to see, I've just coated that in PVA. I've lined, I've marked out my line where the join is. Um, and it's this thinner piece that we need to put down first because of the overlay of where the writing is. This is what they used to do in the olden days, print the designer and the pattern down the side and then they'd overlap it so have I remembered yes I've put a crease line on here as well where I'm starting and just line it up I've put this PVR on nice and thick so give it a good chance to adhere to this plastic Around the edges so it's nice and trim. If you can hear the banging, that's Adrian up on the top floor replacing the floor to my what would have been my sewing room. Actually, I quite like sewing in here in the evenings. Who wants to go up to the top floor when I can have a nice view like this one? Just remembered, I need to put a small amount of glue along this edge. So I have a smaller brush already. Let's see if we can get some more of this out. usually Adrian's dog because it's his, his kind of business. I'm just going to follow the plastic down the edge nice and carefully without cutting into the plastic. If you can hear all the streaming outside it's actually the commune cutting that bird of glass. I think they got a little bit fed up waiting for us to do it. So along the field where we uncovered the two pillars, it was all over brown and they started it yesterday but I think they've come back today to do an even better job. Just missed that hole in the wallpaper there which is good, that was the plan. It should be nicely on that edge so I don't need to trim that edge. I feel like I'm fitting a sign for Adrian. Never actually worked with him at the printing business that we would have not survived this goal. Now 
now that that's done, I need to touch up the frame and let that dry even more. Touch up the frame and I'm going to use some rub and buff to bring out the gold embellishments. Well, morning everyone. Carol's been on a bit of a, trying to find some tie backs. I think they're on bronze or something like that for the um, curtains in the hallway. She quite often goes on Marketplace, you know, the Facebook site. And uh, she came across a pair last night, a little bit overpriced, but she thought I'll just make a, a bit of a cheeky offer. They accepted it, great. So uh, uh, we're going to sort that out. Turns out the person actually lives literally round the corner from us in the village. So uh, I'll head round there now to see her. And I'll show them in place. These are the holdbacks I was talking about that I found on Facebook and very kindly the lady let me have them for half the price so thank you very much. Um, like I said she lived in the village so Adrian's just been around the corner to pick them up. He will give them a clean up but he thought they were too small and he thought I was holding the curtains back like that. That's how I held it when I was in her house. Which I'm not. <laughs> Duh. He's put this hook up for me. It's all been lined up already, all prepared. So we're all going to do for the moment. Because we are just titivating around at the moment. You're always titivating. <laughs> and we've got my hold back. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm going to do is... Hold them back. Hold them back. <laughs> Funny that. I'm not going to have puddling, but I just want to see what the holdbacks look like at the moment. So it will be something like that, and then the hem done at the bottom. Yep. What do you think? What do I think? Brilliant. And I found a use for the other <laughs> two tassels. Ah. You bit don't see them. <laughs> I didn't even know you had them on there. Is that your other bit of titivating? <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. They don't block out too much light. Let me wander up. Yeah, they go really well, don't they? I think, all in all, they've done really well there. Thanks, Simone. Around the corner. It was a bargain by tassel hold backs as well. Mm. Here's what the wallpaper will look like in the frame when it's done. But first, I've got to touch up some of the frame the very best I can. This is as clean as I could get it. But I have started, I was playing the other night, embellishing these details with some rub and buff gold. So that's come up nice. And the detailing around here too. So I'll touch up the edges with some brown paint and then go over it with the rub and buff. So I'm using rub and buff. It is a gold leaf one and I believe it's going to be a lot easier than doing gold leaf. So I'm just using a sponge. I gave Terry a, a quick message and asked him how best to use it because he's used it before. And I'm going to trim it in his lounge, I think, on the top floor. And me having a memory like a sieve, I don't remember how he did it. So he says just dab it on with a sponge. to actually just have this in the cupboard from last year when I was trying to find the right gold for the salon so I've got a lot of different golds that I ordered but I thought I'd give this a go because it's supposed to be perfect for this kind of treatment on the frame.
Now I've asked for Adrian's help to get the picture, if you like, in the frame, because it's a two-man job. So, can we come out with this? Two man or one man, one woman. I'm not sure these days. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> The original paper? It is the original paper, but I'm not sure about this seam down here. Well, I didn't want to say anything because you weren't in a good mood. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long week, two weeks. I know. That's a shame. It is, I know, I agree. But that line here, oh, what a shame. And that is exactly the role with. So you've got no, you're yeah. going to get a line ever. It's because in the olden days they overlapped it. Um. But they didn't butt it up together, they overlapped. Mm -hmm. Up she goes. I was thinking maybe there. Same looks great there. Do you need a breather? No. <laughs> no, it looks really good up there. In fact, you know that line of, that we were talking about earlier? Yeah. It's less visible, now it's over there, from this direction. Okay, so I was thinking there. Okay, or... yeah. There. <laughs> wow. So I was thinking down the end, so that when you come down the corridor, it's in front of you. But what I really wanted was another one of these frames to put the salon wallpaper in for the other end but yeah. I can't find a frame like this okay so, so I think at the moment we'll just put it to one side okay me or temporarily hang it at the end in the arch yeah that's what I was going to say maybe I can ask you to put a temporary hook up there to see what it looks like because the scaffolding's in the way at the moment I think that then if it's a one-off should be down there on its own as a one-off the bottom of the arch Looks good though. And and if can you see it from this side? It looks a lot better with that join. Yeah. Maybe I should put a piece of glass, a mirror in the middle. Maybe, baby. I quite like actually seeing the whole of that image. It's really nice. Would you not prefer to see the whole of me? Quite like the uh, <laughs> image. Right, go away. <laughs> and Carol came down this morning after we spent I don't even know what time we finished last night. And you thought, yeah? The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. Okay. So we're going to leave it up there for the time being, out of the way. But there's still a huge amount of painting to be done. Obviously, we're just putting things in position because we're a bit fed up and tired of work. We <laughs> <laughs> wanted to do something nice. Yesterday just to see was... how it's all coming together. Yeah, yesterday was a long day. We did nail a lot. We really wanted, we are, as I said, we blasted into the garden just so that we could really get on top of it and then get back in here. So it was a good day yesterday. Oh, and... Oh, there's more. Come this way. Oh, okay. Got even the hoover's been out. That shows how much we're on it. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, yes. Works well down there, doesn't it? Shall I show you it lit? Yeah. I've just gone and blown one bulb, so let's hope. Although we said the, the, the table it's on, or whatever you want to call it, is not staying, is it? That's... Oh, no. No, right. we'll change that. We'll change just, that. That's all I have at the moment. Correct. Bang. <whistles> cool, she does glow. Isn't that nice? I'm still taking the plastic off it. I've only just put it there. Okay. And it is, might be me being colour blind, it is black actually, it is black. isn't it? Yeah. Same as I showed And so actually. Okay, wardrobe's going. Yes. Nice seating area here. I've got the leftover fabrics to put on some seats. Oh, yes. Didn't even know you were <coughs> that. I couldn't find a cushion, the right shape and size, so I'll just put that on there. You really have been titivating, haven't you? I have. 
Okay, good. With that wardrobe gone, we'll make a big difference in that area. Oh, a nice sofa in there. Can we put that on the to-do list, please? Tom's Late. has got a really nice one that would go in there. Has it? Yeah. Tuck him up. Oh, thanks, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do a sponsor for him. <laughs> he can sponsor our next video for a sofa. <laughs> I thought I'd surprise Carol, she's busy inside. I know how much she loves the uh, lavoir. I started clearing it up, but then I thought to myself, I've got an idea, I could actually get the running water from the well into there. So I've managed to get hold of an old watering can, adapted it, linked it up to the pump, and hey ho, she'll probably hate it. But firstly, the sound of running water is amazing. <laughs> so back on the ocean. And uh, it's better than just seeing a hose pipe going in. Right, well, my next challenge. So uh, Carol wants these flipping out part of Stonehenge, I think. This concrete block back where it should be in there. But I can see this is obviously being chipped away to be purposely put into that slot at the back. And which way round? Oh, that's which way round it goes. I can actually see it looks like on the edges here only on this side yes it's been chipped away here right so i'm going to assume looking around it definitely well that's made it even harder because i was hoping i could just pick that up and throw it over uh that's not going to happen because it's the wrong way around so it needs a complete 180 first and the other thing is, I'm not actually 100% sure if it's, I think it's upside down. Okay, right, bear with me. I'm gonna have a little play, see if I can uh, maneuver that a bit. And I think what I'm gonna do is, because I don't want it to drop completely in because then I'm stuffed, I won't be able to get my hands underneath it. So I'm gonna, I brought out some bars, metal bars, which I'm gonna put across that gap. So at least it's suspended till I'm happy before I drop it. Well, suited and booted, toe caps are on, bars are in place. Well, apart from just levelling up that corner, just bringing that up flush, and then I'll put a spirit level on it just to make sure I pack out a little bit underneath. But yay! And I think now I found, ah, no, it's too, probably too small. No, it's a much bigger grate that went in there. That's, uh, I'm not even sure if I've ever ever seen one round here when I've been clearing up. It's a shame. Although that will work. But yes, I think all together, when I've cleared up round there, that'll look really nice. Right, that's in. And more than happy with that. And I think we'll be splitting hairs on that as well. So now what I'll do is uh, get the brickwork nicely round the edges. And hopefully, happy Carol. Well, that's much better, as you can see. Bedded in, leveled off. And uh, I think, well, Carol's a designer, whether we put some, we've got a lot of broken slate she took down. Whether we just fill that area there with broken slate like she did outside the front doors uh, to the sides. But yeah, all in all, on to the next job. <laughs> 